so high. Um, just to give you some context, this is a partial requirement of our remedial instruction subject. So remedial instruction is an educational program that is designed to every student who have identified difficulties of learning, reading, and math. So specifically in this video, I'll be talking about um, correcting sight word knowledge deficit. So what is correcting, no correcting sight word knowledge deficit? So it refers to the ability to recognize the meaning of the word by just by looking or um, reading them. So sight word knowledge deficit is the lack of such. Student who experience such may have a um, harder time learning a language who does not. So it is, um, it is important to address this issue. So I have prepared six guides on how to remediate this problem. Um, I'll be reading each one and after that, uh, later on, I will show you um, our um, sample demonstration that we prepared with my partner. Okay, but before we proceed to the discussion, let me introduce myself first. I am Sophia A. Cararo. I am the tutor and my tutee is Ms. Sheena Marie Madangit. So now let's proceed to the step one. Okay, step one. Write a sentence on the chalkboard with a new word used in context. Underline the word. Okay, good morning, Ms. Sheena. Good morning, ma'am. So now I will discuss about correcting sight word knowledge deficit. But before that, I would like to introduce you a new word that may help you understand the text. Okay, step two. Let students read the sentence and attempt to say the new word using context clues along with other word attack skills. If you are introducing a new story, it is especially important that you do not tell them each new word in advance, as this deprives them of the opportunity to apply word attack skills themselves. So now, um, please read the sentence, Mishina. There's been a lot of disagreement about how best to spend the money. Okay, thank you. So there's been a lot of disagreement about how best to spend the money. So the underlined word is disagreement. So I would like you to repeat after me, Nishina. Yes, ma'am. This, this, a, a, gree, gree, men, men. Disagreement, disagreement. Okay, step three. Discuss the meaning of the word or how it is used in talking and writing. Try to tie something in their experience. If possible, illustrate the word with a picture or a concrete object. Okay. Um. What does this word mean? What does disagreement mean? Disagree disagreement means lack of consensus or approval. Yes, thank you very much. So disagreement is lack of consensus or approval. So like for example, um, you give suggestions to your group mates about on your topic of your project. Then some of your group mates didn't agree of your suggestion. So that will be served as disagreement because um, your group mates um, disagree of your given suggestions. So I think this agreement is understandable because from the word this, it is a um, negative prefix. So it means none or not. Step number four, write the word as students watch. Ask them to look for certain configuration clues such as double letters, extenders, and descenders. Also, ask them to look for any well-known phonograms or word families, example, ill, ant, ache, but do not call attention to letter words in longer words. So now I would like you to watch this video. So this is about the um, word. Okay. So what do you have noticed in the word? What uh, its form, um, structure, or spelling? It has double E's in it, po, ma'am. Yes, very good. So, um, this agreement has double E's in it. Um, it is an example of the um, double consonant word because it has two E in succession. So, um... Now, I want you to recall another word that you know, which, um, which has two E in it, and uh, like the word disagreement. 
Example, mom like sweet and still. Okay, very good. So sweet and still has double E's in it. Okay, step number five. Ask students to write the word themselves and to be sure, have them say the word while they write it. So, um, what I want you to do now is to um, write, um, the, write this word, this agreement, uh, on your paper 10 times and write it, um, read it by your own. Read it by yourself. Okay? Okay, ma'am. Okay, step number six. Have students make up and write sentences in which a word is used in context. Have them read these sentences to each other and discuss them. Okay, so and after that, um, I would like you to construct uh, your own sentence using the word disagreement. And I would um, call you next meeting to present it into, your, into the class. And I think that's all. Um, do you have any question, Miss Gina? None so far, for me. Okay, very good. So that's it. Um, thank you for cooperating, and God bless. Thank you, ma'am. So those are the six guys on how to remediate sight word knowledge deficit, and I hope that you have gained knowledge about our sample demonstration. And that could be all. Thank you.